What it do, you two? What it do? Forgive me. Forgive me, please. And today, I'm making a, a little quick pizza. Well, trying to be quick, but I'm making my own sauce. That's the plan, okay? And I already blended my tomatoes up with my water and a little olive oil. So I'm about to pour it in the pan now. Where my spray at? About to pour it in the pan now and let it come to a boil and all that. It ain't red enough. I might have to throw some ketchup or something in there. But uh, I, I gotta season it up too. It's a good blend it right there. I blended it with the my thing on. I blended it with the uh, the skin and everything gone. I'm hoping that, cause I'm a, I'm gonna blend it again after I boil it up. So I'm gonna get my season seasonings and everything. I'm gonna put in there, and I'm gonna tie back in when I uh, get back to the stove. Let this come to a boil. Come to a boil. Turn the stove down. And let it simmer for about a little bit. Probably about 30 minutes. It's not gonna take long. No more than uh, 30, 45 minutes. And I'll be back once it get a little thicker. So you can see it already. But I'll tap back in shortly, already. All right, I'm warming up my 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 hot tap water so i can make my crust this is what i'm using for the, my crust and uh you mix it up and then you, you, you let it knead for about 
30 minutes. It say, hold on, what it say on here? It say five minutes, but I usually do about 15 to 30 minutes. Try to get the pump up a little more. Uh, find my measuring. Hold on, let me stir this up. Now I gotta find my measuring cup. Oh yeah, it look good already. Measuring cup. Where are oh, they go over here? I sat back in with it. Oh no, I ain't. I'm just set up right now. Fluffing it over till all of it form up. It'll take a little while, but I'm going to keep mixing it up and I'll be back once I get it together. It's just about mix. Let me check this. It's just ready to go off. Yep. Turning this off. Hold on, let me show y'all. I mix it up a little bit more. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna just let it sit on the stove. So, uh, cook some more of that moisture out of it. But the stove off. That's off. Mix this up a little bit. And then set this to the side. I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a, um, some saran wrap over it. And a, a tile. Drop of oil. Yeah. We in there now. Let me show you. Wrap. I just hate messing with it because it, it just don't ever come out right. Wrap it up in a saran wrap. Get you a clean towel. Cover it like this. And sit on the counter. I'm gonna do it for about, like I said, I'm gonna do it about 20, 30 minutes. Try to get it to 
rise up a little. Which it seems like this dough don't rise up that much, but I'm gonna set it to the side on the counter, right under the heater. It'll have to be under the heater, but that's just where I put it at. And let that sit. And uh, I'm gonna let and I'm about to put the sauce back in the processor and blend it one last time. And matter of fact, I'm gonna use my my new blender I got. That's what I'm gonna do. Let me set this up and I'm gonna tap back in. Oh, I should have did a review on it. Okay, too bad. Okay, I'll tell that in a minute. It'll take a little while, but I'm going to keep mixing it up and I'll be back once I get it together. All right, I changed my mind, and I'm using my original, my old processor. I ain't feel like washing it out and washing it and all that, so I'm using what I already used. Get it. Change the color. That made it a little lighter. What is gonna do? Let's taste it. I didn't even taste it. It's missing something. Garlic, you know what I forgot to put in there? I don't know how I forgot to put that in there. My Tony Satchers, my Creole season, baby. I need it for everything. It make everything so much better. Oh yeah, that ain't bad. It's a little light. I don't know. I don't know how to, when I put it in here, the color changed. It made it lighter. That ain't no good view. Hold up. There we go. 
can't see it like that. But we'll see it once <clears throat> once we spread that on the pizza. Gotta let that go. Sit for about another still about 20 minutes. And then I'll be back. All right. <laughs> We'll be back. <clears throat> I'll wrap that bread. I mean, dough. Get a little flour, huh? Have a little flour. Put on the dough. Help it not stick. You see, really, why well, I need me a roller. I don't have now. Let me show y'all what I do. Oh, what I do with that saran wrap. Let me show y'all what, what I do when I don't have a roller. This right here. And just use something round. I normally use a water bottle. Now I got a roller. Just like that. Well, like they say, there's always more than one way to skin a cat. Show don't stop. The homemade pizza sauce.
Try something different. Hold up. Something just tastes off. I got some fresh mozzarella cheese. It's like what they call the margarita pizza. Cut up thin <clears throat> and then just slap it up there in spots. And every time I saw it, um, ow, shoot, I almost cut my finger. All the time I always saw it, they just cut the cheese up and then just place it on top. few This should be good right here. I hope. Got some fresh spinach I'm gonna put over the top of it too. Oh man, it dropped. Couple more.
the spinach. Just some slight. I don't know how it'll come out. I got to just try some what I see on TV. Throw it in the oven and let this brown and see what it tastes like. I don't know. We gonna see though. the pizza. I should have added a little more cheese, but I added me some mushrooms on there. I'm about to cut it. Honestly, from the looks, I don't like how I look. But, let's see what it tastes like. Bad now that I cut it. This part, well, let me taste it and see. It tastes bad. Honestly, let me truly help. Honestly, honestly, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. But what I should have did, put a little more cheese and put a little more sauce. But it's okay. What to do y'all? <clears throat> That's that. Let me try something different on the pizza. Uh, like I said, uh, it wasn't nasty, but it ain't just hidden like that either. I might find me something else to eat. I don't know. But it was a nice try. I would try it. I'm going to try it again, though, since I know how to make the sauce now. And I forgot to put vinegar in it. I was supposed to put some vinegar in the sauce, but I forgot to do that. But the next time, I use more sauce. That's that'll make a big difference too. So I I don't really say it's a fail because I did make the sauce right. I just cause I don't I don't like heavy sauce. So that's why I put the sauce on there. I put on there. I don't like a lot of sauce on my pizza. But if I had to rate it out of a ten. I would give it like a six or seven. I give it a six or seven because it do taste decent. 